Hello everybody, this is Johns Hopkins with Baltimore Heritage and we're back with another of our 5 Minute Histories videos and today I'm on 40th Street in Hamden at the Rotunda. We're going to talk about the Rotunda today. It turns 100. It was built 100 years ago. But I want to start with a quick thanks. I realize that I haven't said thanks in a good long while. And thanks of course to my colleague Molly Ricks who is keeping these videos going. I think we're on number 160, somewhere like that. Um, so thank you Molly. And thank you to all of you who are watching these videos, sharing them. Thanks to the folks who watched our video on Sarah Ann Street Alley Houses and then signed the petition to help us help the neighbors save this part of Poppleton. Um, and thanks, of course, to all of you who have donated, sent in checks, um, or contributed online. You have kept these videos going and uh, made it possible for us to do our other work, like with Sarah Ann Street. All right, Rotunda, 100 years old. Many of us uh, know it today. We come and go to the Mom's Organic Market or maybe the pizza place or the juice bar here. Um, but 100 years ago, it was not that. It was the new home for Maryland Casualty, the insurance company. Maryland Casualty got its start in 1898, um, and it provided fire insurance and property insurance to houses, to homeowners here in Baltimore. Oh, and to the Panama Canal in the 1940s when the Panama Canal underwent a huge expansion, Maryland Casualty was the insurer, and they were the insurer for the construction of the Bay Bridge between San Francisco and Oakland. So they did houses, but they did things uh, a little bigger than houses as well. And uh, interestingly, this was not the first really great building that Maryland Casualty built. Ten years before, in 1912, they built what is what was known as the Tower Building on East Baltimore Street in the heart of downtown. At 18 stories tall, it was the tallest building in Baltimore. If you're wondering, the Bromo Seltzer Tower, which was built a year before 1911, is 15 stories tall. So the Tower Building uh, edged it out a little bit. Um, many people still consider it one of the best buildings in Baltimore. Sadly, it was demolished in the 1980s. Maryland Casualty occupied it as its offices only for about a decade and in 1921 they built the rotunda out here and moved in. They were a part in an early part of a wave called pastoral capitalism which has a really colorful uh, colorful term uh, but pastoral capitalism was the era when companies were moving out of downtowns uh, to the suburbs including places like Hamden. Let me read to you what uh, what the Baltimore Sun wrote uh, at the time of the move in 1921 under the headline, Policy of Taking Employees from Distracting Influences. Here's what the Sun says. Maryland Casualty believes that better results may be obtained by removing the office to a quiet place in the suburbs where the surroundings will be more pleasant and where there will be less to divert the attention of the working forces. Hmm, it is hard to believe that Hamden was so bland that it didn't have anything to divert the attention of the working forces, uh, but that's what the Sun had to say. Um, Maryland President John T. Stone at the time predicted that uh, within 25 years, so by 1950, there would be waves of companies moving from downtown, uh, not just to here in Hamden, but to north of the city. And uh, he, of course, at least in part, was correct in that prediction. Um, in 1919, uh, Maryland Casualty bought uh, 25 acres here and built not just the rotunda, but a whole campus. Um, they had a clubhouse with a restaurant. They had a 1,500-seat auditorium. Um, they had manicured lawns and tennis courts. They even had a baseball diamond out here. I guess they felt those kind of diversions were uh, more healthy than whatever was happening downtown. Um, in 19, and, and so the building uh, uh, was used, I'm sorry, the Rotunda building was used as the administrative offices for Maryland Casualty. It lasted up until about 1969 and then almost was demolished. Maryland Casualty had outgrown even this large building and was thinking of demolishing it to build a new building. Um, but luckily for us, a gentleman, a developer here in Baltimore named Bernard Mannequin stepped in and said, hey, don't demolish it. Let's do what they just did in San Francisco with an old chocolate factory. Ghirardelli's chocolate factory was converted into shops and restaurants, one of the first adaptive reuse projects in the country. But here in Baltimore in the 1960s, we were no strangers to adaptive reuse. 
Um, Mike, uh, the Maryland Institute College of Art, had taken the old Mount Royal train station and turned it into a uh, classroom space for, for artists. The anthropologist Margaret Mead, um, here's what she said about the MICA project. She said, this is perhaps the most magnificent example in the Western world of something being made into something else. Um, this from the woman who famously said, um, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. I think I had that quote on my dorm room wall in college, and I bet some of you also did. So no small praise from uh, Margaret Mead for the MICA project. But uh, here the rotunda was really more modeled after the Ghirardelli Square project in San Francisco. And it had shops and restaurants and offices above. Um, some of you, I remember coming to a movie. There were movie theater. There was a movie theater here, um, as well as uh, a Rite Aid that, uh, that we used to come to as well. Um, the, uh, the rotunda, as its new life, uh, was doing well. In 2005, it was purchased by a development company out of New Jersey um, with a proposal to build new apartments and more shops and restaurants. Um, that was extremely controversial. Folks here in Hamden and around Baltimore uh, felt that the project, the new construction, was out of scale with the historic mill village of Hamden. Um, and they feared that the shops here would uh, draw business away from 36th Street, the main street in Hamden. But after eight years, uh, the development went through and was in fact built. Um, I'm going to conclude uh, with two quick things. One is, if you're wondering what happened to Maryland Casualty, the company, it is now part of the insurance giant uh, Zurich out of Switzerland. Um, and then I'll finally say uh, a happy birthday to the Rotunda and uh, wishes that it can continue for 100 years or more. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.